Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're talking about some of the upcoming beauty releases. I have collected the makeup collections that feel more interesting to me and the makeup releases that feel more interesting to me. We have a lot of interesting makeup coming from Dior and Chanel, which are two of my favorite brands. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you enjoy beauty talks, please take a moment to subscribe. I would love to welcome you to our beauty community. And if you're returning, welcome back, dear friends. Please join me in the comment section. Let me know what looks interesting, what you would like to see on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be discussing with you what I'm planning to purchase, but I can always change depending on what you want to see here as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab a drink. I have my cup of cappuccino here and I love these videos because we can catch up and discuss what's coming soon. So I'm going to be using some photos from Instagram and I'm going to make sure to link the accounts here. Um, I'm going to be mentioning the accounts as I'm posting the photos and also I'm going to make sure to leave links to all of the accounts from which I'm taking photos in the description box. Please be sure to follow those accounts because they bring us the latest beauty news and they help us to decide what we want to purchase and how to plan our budgets. So we are starting with, we have a lot of interesting makeup coming from Dior and Chanel. So I'm saving mostly for Dior and Chanel releases this year. So let's go ahead and start with Dior just for a change because I usually start with Chanel makeup, but let's go ahead and start with Dior. Now, the photos that you're seeing right now are from um, an account that is WZ underscore beauty. Now this is the main account that I use for beauty news and all things that are new beauty. Be sure to follow this account. There's a lot of interesting information if you want to know the, what's happening, the latest news in the beauty world. Dior's fall makeup collection looks very interesting. It looks like we are going to have those beautiful brown neutral colors. I have the, I already have actually Guerlain's full makeup collection. Actually, I have two eyeshadow palettes. I'm trying to open the eyeshadow palettes now because I want to show you. So probably at the time when you're watching this video, I already am going to, I'm already going to have a video on this collection. This is Guerlain Fall 2023. These two eyeshadow palettes, they are both gorgeous. But anyways, moving on to Dior again. So Dior are going to have two beautiful eyeshadow palettes and a blush. Now this time it's one of the rare moments, it's one of the rare occasions when I actually want the whole makeup collection uh, or everything that we see, everything that um, WZ underscore beauty has posted. So we have a more intense eyeshadow palette, which is 6A3 and 523. Now 523 is probably going to be my favorite because it's more nude, it's more subtle, whereas 683 is a little bit more dramatic. But what I love here is that in 683, what attracts me is that I can see a beautiful blend of cool and warm, neutral brown colors and brownish colors. There is a little bit of red as far as I see in two of the colors. And then the pale shade looks very interesting as well. So for sure, I'm going to be purchasing these two eyeshadow palettes. Now 523 is probably going to be my favorite. It's very subtle, it's very beautiful, just a timeless beauty that you can wear very safely at the office or I see that with the dark colors. You can probably intensify the look um, and make it in a nighttime look as well. But these two palettes are beautiful. The blush is very interesting. It might be a little bit dark for my pale skin, but I'm sure that I can blend it out and also the embossing is gorgeous as well. Then we have two nail polishes and I'm so excited for 746. It is the perfect bronzy, deep, rich brown color with a little bit of shimmer and I'm absolutely getting this one. I'm probably going to buy also 415, which is like a nude pink color. I'm not sure if this is going to be shimmery or not. Now it says that this collection, the information that we have is that it's going to launch on the 28th of July. So probably it's going to launch first in the US, so I'm going to be in delay with my release. Then you are also going to revamp their whole nail polish collection, just like Chanel did. And there is going to be new packaging of the nail polishes. 
overall I think that there are a lot of colors that attract my attention. Now 449 is a color that I would love to try and also 100 this is the classic nude color 558 like there are a lot of colors that I want to try but I'm going to try and limit myself because we have so many new and so much new makeup coming that I need to be careful and I need to plan my purchases ahead of time. Then also we are going to have two new cushion foundations. Now, here it's something very interesting. I have a love-hate relationship with Dior's cushion foundations. Sometimes they work for me, sometimes they don't work for me. Now with this, I'm not sure if they are released here in Europe, I'm probably going to try them. I'm still not sure. Now, something that attracts me a lot is that there is going to be a Dior Forever Couture Skin Glow Cushion, which has SPF 50, which is always something that attracts me a lot. This one is going to have radiant finish. I, I suppose that this was the one with the glossy packaging. And then the other one is going to be Dior Forever Couture Perfect Cushion with SPF 35 PA++ with luminous matte finish. Now, speaking of cushion foundations, I just need to stop for a little while and say that uh, I learned from some of you that in some countries, um, I believe Australia and Canada, Chanel have reformulated their Le Beige Gel Touch Cushion Foundation and now it has a higher SPF, like it has SPF 35 if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to write it here actually, I'm going to try and get a photo of this foundation. I used to love this foundation but then it disappeared from the European retailers and from the European websites and then it looks like it appeared again. First it was released in Asia, of course, and now it looks like it's being released in Australia, in Canada, hoping that it's going to be available um, in Europe soon as well, because I'm going to buy this foundation for sure and I'm going to review it. Now there is no, I cannot skip a Chanel release. And then back to the Dior, there is going to be a new cushion foundation, uh, cushion powder. I'm going to skip this one because I have one of the previous cushion powders and what I don't like, I have mentioned this many times when I show it in videos, is the way I get out the product, it somehow uh, is messy, I don't find it comfortable and I was struggling to use it up, I could not use it up of course, but I was struggling to use it up, so the new shade is going to be 060 if you're a fan of this cushion powder. It looks very beautiful, like the packaging is gorgeous, but just the whole me mechanism of taking the powder <laughs> out, not for me, not for me. Uh, so I'm going to skip this one. Then we have two new additions to the iconic Miss Dior line, and these are body products. So one is the Shimmering Body Gel, which I already purchased. I'm going to show it to you as soon as it arrives, but I was told that actually this is like a pink body cream, like very, almost like a Barbie pink body cream with little shimmery particles, which I think is going to be excellent for the summer season. As, as a lot of you know, I'm a huge fan of the whole Miss Dior fragrance line. So I'm going to show you this one. So wait for, for me to show it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because as soon as it arrives, I'm actually going to show it to you on Instagram because this is going to be a quicker way to see how it looks, but I'm very excited for this one. It's now available everywhere. I'm going to make sure to leave a link. And as far as I know, this is a limited edition. So once it's gone, it's gone. And there's also a shower gel. I skipped the shower gel, but I'm definitely, um, I'm very excited to try the body. It's like a cream gel, they say. And I'm going to see how moisturizing it is. Then I'm going to mention also the new Dior Le Balm, revitalizing balm for hands, lips, and body. Now I tried this one in store and I like it. It's a rich cream that it looks fancy to, to have it in your handbag because the packaging is really cute, really nice. Um, and the cream is good actually, but the one that I prefer over this one is the 1967 balm because it has chamomile extract and it was so beautiful and soothing on the skin. It doesn't contain fragrance. Um, the ingredients are, I would say, quite clean, quite good ingredients. And it was a great value also in terms of the amount of product that you get. It comes in a tube and this is one that I have been repurchasing. It's um, one of the Dior skincare products that I like. It's still available in some European retailers. 
um, but it's mostly gone so probably this one is replacing the 1967 which I'm not happy about because I prefer the 1967 balm. I tried this one as well and the 1967, the 1967 was better. That's my, only my opinion of course. But other than that if you're a fan of Dior I'm probably going to buy this one as well sometime in the winter because just to have it in my handbag but I'm waiting also for a discount to have a discount at my local Sephora and I don't know what's happening with the Dior blushes the new Dior Rouge blushes they did not arrive in the European retailers I don't know what's happening we already have the backstage blushes and I already reviewed them so if you're interested be sure to watch my full review I think that they are good quality the deeper ones are a little bit patchy on the skin so you have to work a little bit more to blend them um, or apply them on top of powder but I shared everything my thoughts and also application tips in my video so I'm not going to waste your time anymore and I think that this is actually what we are going to expect from Dior it's quite a lot actually now there's also another very luxurious release from Dior and this is like th there's a lipstick collection it's called Dior Rouge Premier lipstick as far as I know this collection is available at uh, the Dior boutique in Paris which I failed to visit last time when I was there um, but the lipsticks they come in this very luxurious packaging. I'm not sure if this is going to be a limited edition or not, but I'm not very attracted to this collection, to be honest. I think that the prices are quite high of this collection. I'm still not aware. The lipstick case, I think, is quite pricey. So I'm just going to show you some photos. This is something that I'm going to skip. We're moving on to Chanel and we have a lot of exciting releases coming from Chanel for this fall season. So if you're a Chanel lover like me, your credit card is going to suffer for sure so start saving from now now the most one of the most interesting releases from Chanel for this fall season which is I believe currently available in some Asian countries is a new numero un de Chanel it's like a primer or they call it a skin enhancer as a lot of you probably know I'm a huge fan of the numero un de Chanel foundation it is the foundation that I repurchased this year and I'm certainly going to try this one as well now unfortunately the healthy glow cream that I showed in one of my previous videos uh, was not released worldwide it was re released only at selected markets I believe that this is a product that is going to be released worldwide or at least I hope so now I'm going to show you a swatch and the photos that you see right now belong to Rus Beauty News. This is Elena, she is a beauty blogger and she reviews luxury beauty on her blog. She has a blog in Russian and also her Instagram account is in Russian but she shows a lot of beauty news as well and she reviews also luxury beauty on her blog so I'm going to make sure to leave a link to her Instagram account and also to her blog. The photos that she posted of this product are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to try this product. It looks like it's going to be one fluid ounce of product and I'm really excited for this release. You can see a swatch and the photo is very good quality. So as far as I see from the swatch, I think that this product is even going to be better than the Healthy Glow Cream because um, I think that this one is going to have also some of the skincare benefits of the Numero and the Chanel line. The Numero and the Chanel foundation alone looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin but I'm sure that with this primer it's going to look even more beautiful and I can see myself probably wearing this primer alone. I can't wait to try this one. I want to try it so badly. Next for fall 2023 Chanel are releasing new oversized illuminating face powders. These are going to be from the big powders of Chanel and they are going to have the iconic for Chanel charms we are going to have the camellia we are going to have the chain the cc logo the stars and the lion now the information that i have for now is that there are going to be three shades available warm gold pearly white and precious coral it's going to be hard to pick so you just have to choose your favorite chanel charm the one that is looks 
it feels more attractive to you, the one that resonates the most with you. I like all of the charms. I like the stars. And then the camellia is definitely my favorite. I'm sure that the pearly white is going to be a beautiful highlighter. And then the precious coral is going to look beautiful, I think, as a blush topper or as a blush for people who have fair skin tone like mine and for people with deeper skin tones it's going to be a beautiful highlighter and then the gold one is the one that is least attractive to me i would love to know your thoughts actually which one is your favorite what's your favorite chanel charm and then something else apart from the numero 1 de chanel base the face enhancer we are going to have also a mattifying base which I think I'm going to try first in store because I'm not sure how it's going to work. I did not love exactly the illuminating base that they released. It's a good one, but not, I did not love it. I liked it, but did not love it. And then this is going to be a mattifying makeup primer with moisturizing properties. So again, I'm just going to try this one in store. And then we are going to have also Chanel Le Mousse. This is going to be a clarifying cleansing mousse, which I'm most probably going to skip initially. And then I've tried almost everything from Chanel Skincare. So at some point, I'm sure that I'm going to buy it. I'm going to try it. But at first, I'm going to skip it. Then there are going to be new accessories. These are actually supposed to launch in July, in early July. So we are going to have a duo mirrors in these fun colors. And then a brush set and nail files. I don't know how I feel about this release. These look fun, but for some reason I'm not so attracted to those. So this is probably something that I'm going to skip. Let me know what you think. On one side, they, they look fun. They look like something that's fun. At the same time, I think that I miss a little bit the luxury feel here. I want to see them in store. Maybe I'm going to change my mind. Next, moving on to another one of my favorite brands, and this is Clay de Peau. Clay de Peau actually are reformulating, not really reformulating, but they are releasing new eyeshadows, and there are going to be 12 eyeshadows in total. I am very attracted to this release because I love their makeup director. The current makeup director of Clay de Peau is Benjamin Pucky, which is a makeup artist that I respect so much. And I love his work as a makeup artist. And he usually creates products for Clay de Peau that I absolutely love. And I love his makeup style. I love, I love his whole work. So the theme is going to be the power of ocean's beauty. I already put my name for a couple of palettes, three palettes, I believe. I'm probably going to buy four. So I'm going to show you photos of the eyeshadows. All of the colors look very attractive to me. I literally want all of them. Number one, number three, number four, number five. These are my favorites. 12 again is very interesting and I don't know, each color story looks very beautiful as to be expected from Benjamin. Let me know which ones are your favorites and which ones you would like to see on my YouTube channel. As far as I know, the bottom left shade is going to be almost can be used like a base shade and it's going to be a little bit more like a mousse. I'm going to see, it's, it's very interesting. It, this release is very exciting to me. Then we're moving on to Givenchy. There is going to be a new Prisma Libre blush, which I want. I think that the color is beautiful. And then there are going to be three new lip balms. I'm very attracted to the lavender lip balm. This one is going to be my favorite and the one that I'm going to buy. So I'm probably going to buy here only the lavender lip balm and the blush. Then Guerlain released a whole new line of hair care products, which I am tempted to try. I, I want to go ahead and try and get some samples. I have them in my cart, but I still haven't checked out. So I'm not really sure. Now I'm attracted to the hair mask. There is a new Double R Radiance and Repair hair mask. So this is the product that I'm most interested to try. And then they also have a shampoo and a conditioner. 
and the hair oil. Now the hair oil, they've had it for a while. I've tried it and for some reason it just doesn't really work for me. Certainly these products are going to be very fragrant. This is to be expected from Guerlain. And they also have a hair brush. I'm going to skip the hair brush. It's like 150 euro. For now I'm going to skip this one. Or I just want to see it in store. I want to see what's special about this hair brush so that to justify, you know, 150 euro. So I want to see it first. And probably the one product that I'm going to buy is the Double R Radiant Scent Repair Mask. If you have tried this one already, it's available in France. Let me know, please. Um, I would love to know your thoughts. Again, the hair oil, it was available for more than a year, I believe. It just did not work for me. But also Nooks have released a new hair care line. They have a shampoo, conditioner and mask, and I tried all three of them already. And I like them. I have to say that I like them. They give a lot of shine to the hair. It's very interesting because... Uh, let me pause the video actually and show you the hair mask. Okay, I'm back. So here we go. This is actually the set that I purchased and I've already used um, all of the products three times. I washed my hair with, you know, with this whole ritual, I already used all of the three products. There we had the shampoo, the conditioner and the hair oil. Now for my long hair, this lasted for three times, exactly. And then the hair mask, the hair mask actually looks like the iconic Nooks oil. I'm going to give you a close up. So this is what I've used for four times on my hair. So this one is going to last for a very, very long time. So those of you who are based in France, I'm going to leave a link so that you can try this set as well. I think that this is the best way to try the products without buying the full size products. And after trying them, I have to say they give a very, very good amount of shine. I like how my hair feels after using the product. So this is a product that you're supposed to use before you wash your hair, the hair oil. So it's called Le Masque and it's a pre-shampoo nourishing mask with fermented pink camellia oil, which um, apparently this fermented pink camellia oil is um, present in all of the products. The shampoo and the conditioner, they feel very light on the hair. The conditioner doesn't feel greasy, doesn't feel heavy. Um, but one thing that I have to warn you, the, the scent is very, very strong. So if you are sensitive to fragrances, this could be an issue for you. You're going to feel immediately the signature scent of the Nux products, which I adore, and this adds to the experience for me. But then after washing your hair, the whole hair is going to smell for days. Like until the next wash, you're going to smell like nukes. You basically don't need a hair fragrance with this one. It smells so good. And, and since my hair is quite long, I have been enjoying it because it's almost like I'm wearing um, perfume and it just smells so light, so nice, so beautiful. But this might be an issue for people who are sensitive to perfume, who are sensitive to fragrance. Now, I'm convinced that I'm going to get both the shampoo and the conditioner. I was quite happy when I used them. I really enjoyed putting this into my hair before washing my hair and they say that you can keep it for 10 to 30 minutes I usually keep it for an hour or a couple of hours it all depends like I just put it and then I make sure to keep it more than 30 minutes and I put it in my whole length of the hair I think these were the most interesting products um that I've seen lately. I'm skipping the latest Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette just because these are not colors that I would use and I have purchased a lot of new makeup lately. Now, a lot of you are asking me to review the new Dior Backstage eyeshadow palette. I already did so, but apparently a lot of you haven't received notifications about my videos. I already reviewed the Dior Backstage eyeshadow palette. I'm going to make sure to leave a link here, to leave a link also in the description box. It's a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I think it's worth the splurge. I like the colors and I also like how they stay during the day on my eyes. I think that the quality is better um, in terms of pigmentation, the amount of pigmentation that you're getting is um, 
they are more intensely pigmented compared to the newly reformulated five color eyeshadow palettes. So please make sure to go ahead and watch my full video and a huge thank you to everyone who shares my videos. Um, if you enjoy my videos, please share them with friends. It would mean so much to me. I would love for us to grow our community and I would love to be able to spend more time on YouTube here with you. And thank you so much for spending time with me, for watching my videos. Let me know what you think of all of the new releases and all of the makeup that we already discussed. And is there anything that I missed? If there is, let me know and let me know what you would like to see. I was almost going to forget. I wanted to share with you a product that is um, quite new in the US right now. It has been available for a while in Europe. It is actually not a new, new product, but it was reformulated. And I believe it was a couple of months ago when I was talking about my hair care. If you haven't watched this video, I'm going to link it here and in the description box. I shared with you what I use for my hair. Um, and this is really everything that I use. Um, a lot of you have been asking me to do again a hair care video, but this is really what I use. Um, I'm very minimalistic. I'm a minimalist when it comes to my hair because it is quite long. So I like to keep it healthy and it is quite healthy. I don't have any split ends. It's quite soft and nice, but I don't use a lot of heat in my hair. Now I shared with you this product. I think that it's very useful if you are straightening your hair because with this product, it is a heat protectant, but at the same time, when you use it, you need, you can use less heat on your hair. And these are certain tricks that I use for my hair. So for example, today I sprayed this product in my hair and I barely used my hair straightener. I just used it like for only here, only on the, these two top layers, just to make sure that my hair is not flying away. But when I apply this product on my hair, it just keeps it very soft, sleek, smooth. And every time when I want to straighten my hair, I use this product. So this is a great product if you are straightening your hair. So that was all for today's video. Once again, thank you so much for watching and for spending time with me. It always means so much to me when you watch my videos and when you spend time with me. And let me know what you think of the upcoming releases, what is on your wish list, and what you would like to see on my channel. Have a beautiful day and I'm going to see you next time.